Welcome to our YouTube channel again. This is Ethan Kosa from Kosa Trading. And today we have a very nice product at the table again. It's a, obviously the Bang & Olufsen product. So uh, it's also a very long time uh, since I have uh, made a video. It's the summertime and uh, yeah. It's back to work again and let's see what we have. So today we're gonna do a little bit uh, Another DSM Link project. Uh, we're gonna process this beautiful BioPlay M3. Uh, it's a very beautiful, beautiful product from uh, Bang Olufsen. So let's talk about a little bit about the design. Uh, this uh, BioPlay M3 uh, came and released in uh, 2017, and uh, has been designed by Cici Le Mans. And the materials that are there's different types of materials inside this uh, play M3. We have uh, aluminium, the cover, and we have some uh, rubber thing underneath, so it's stable at the table. And we also have some uh, plastic around the woofers, and the structures is also plastic. So uh, we're gonna process the the deassembling process for this beautiful BioPlay M3. And the weight is around 1.5 kilograms. It's actually 1,460 grams, if you wanna be, be price. So um, the dimension is 11.12, uh, 15.1, and, uh, and the height is 14. And here it is. So we can also see the serial number underneath. Underneath, we can see the serial number is. There's no serial number. Yo, here we go. It's serial number for starting with uh, 28. And the type number is uh, 2730. And also, yeah, made in. Let's see. We think it's also made in, uh, in China. <laughs> if we can. It's find the made in china design and yeah i can't see it but uh i think this also in, made in in china yo here we go but need made in china so yeah also we have some connections we have a pairing mode no i think this is the listening mode uh, volume up volume down and here we have the input for the power cord uh power off standby uh, we also have uh, options and we have the power input and we have the line in. The interesting part of this product is if you have a turntable, let's say vintage turntable like Biogram uh, 4002 and you have this one. If you have a, a re rear amplifier between this one and the Biogram, you can actually get an adapter from ACA, ACA adapter, uh, ACA phone adapter, and uh, into an, uh, a line in. You can actually put the line in input here, uh, here, and you can actually set up your Biogram 4002 into a multi room. So you, you just need to uh, volume down this M3 and you can actually set your biogram to uh, biogram uh, 4002 into a listening mode in a multi-room system that's very nice so you can just hide this one away that's the cheapest way to get your biogram 4002 into multi-room system into the bang olsen app that's the most easiest way and cheapest way to do it uh, just remember remember to uh, volume down the m3 uh, speaker otherwise the volume will all go through this one but you you are interesting to have, let's say, if you have a bigger speaker like uh, Biogram, uh, Biolab 8, uh, 18s or let's say it's 27s or... So let's get back to the speaker. So let's talk about the, the sound configurations inside the Bioplay M3. We have the, the Twitter, uh, it's 3 quarter. And we have the, the woofer, is 3.75 inch. So uh, each driver has has own um, uh, amplifier. The amplifier is a uh, forty watts class D amplifier. 
This is both for the class D amplifiers, 40 watts, for the tweeter and the woofer. And we also have some advanced sound features. We have acoustic place for settings, and we also have added to bass linearization and also a terminal protection for the speaker drivers. And back to the beautiful design. I think uh, CZ Demands has uh, done a pretty good job designing this uh, beautiful product. Uh, you can also have a wall bracket. There's the, the fret. You can just uh, screw, screw it in. And yeah, also very nice to hide the, the cable here. And there's a little bit hole here where the cable can go out. Let's try to get it deassembling. So um, let's let's check the, the protection on. We are grounded, and let's let's start by removing the cover. It's pretty easy. Just uh, remove it right right here. And there are four screws we need to remove. Then we can remove the the woofer. So uh, let's by, let's start by doing that. I always speed up the process uh, when we do some uh, drilling or unscrew the screw. So yeah, so uh, our new uh, viewers will also <laughs> our oldest viewer know know it, but uh, our new viewers, I'm I'm just uh, removing the the screws. So I'm gonna speed up the process. We have removed screws uh, around the, the woofer, and I think we can just do this. See, we can remove it. No, I think we need to uh, remove the screws at the corners before we can take the woofer out. Maybe. No, this one is... Uh... No, we can't. No, it's not possible. So let's process the, the, the deassembling process with the screws also. Remove the screws, uh, the four screws around the corners and let's see if we can remove the complete chassis. Here we go. We have removed the screws. So I'm not sure if we can I'm not sure how we should remove there's no screws here. Uh, let's see if we can pull it out from here. Or let's see if we can I think we should uh, I think we need to on let's try to unscrew screw it in again. Here we go. Now the speaker is in place. It's very interested how Bang Olsen We have removed the screws. We have removed the screws and we can still figure out how they have. Wow. I think we are stuck here. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can. No, they have. How did they manage to? I think this, this one is glued together or something because the, I think this one is just protecting the the woofer is getting hit oh, why they have put this one okay I think it's coming off no That's very interesting. We can pull the woofer out. That's that's obvious because this one is right here, and they have put it this plastic piece after they have installed the woofer. Obvious, and 
thing we can if we have a heat gun we can maybe heat it because we can't get into the structure hmm But anyway, we, we can't remove the woofer, but we need to remove this one before. Because if they, if in the production line, they have must install the woofer first and glue this plastic piece right here. Otherwise, it is not, it's not possible for me to remove the woofer. Yeah, I think we need to, we need to remove this one before we can remove the woofer and then we can uh, when we remove the woofer we can uh, grab our fingers and pull it pull the plastic piece otherwise it's very hard for me yeah I think I need to get a heat gun yeah let me see if we can get a screwdriver right here and see if we can pop it out so um, I know I'm damaging the, the plastic piece. Here we go. I think I'm the first one doing this, but because it is obvious they have put this one after they have installed the woofer. Um, yeah, I think I need to remove this one. Don't show me if it's sliding. No, it's not sliding. There must be an easy way to remove this one. I have never done this before. That's very strange. Why Bang all of has done this? Okay, there's a screw right here. So there must. Yeah, it's screwed in. But how? Here we go. That's not the correct way to remove it, but uh, I think they just need to have release from here. Okay, so. The conclusion is don't do that. Just uh, take a screwdriver and pop it out here because this one is screwed in right here. So let's see if we can screw it out. And this one, here we go. So the conclusion is, <laughs> let's say we have a uh, in this place this one is screwed and don't break the whole thing it's just for demonstration in, in this purpose 
So uh, take a screwdriver and see if we can, when you have removed the screws, check a screwdriver and pop it out here like that and pull. So the ne next thing will be why, let's see if we can remove the woofer. There we go. go here we go so uh, the woofer is perilous made in China look like this and we have some PSB boards inside so okay there's I think there's this one there the must they have must I think there's a screw right here because it's pretty stuck uh, let's see if we can because I think there's a screw right here because it's very hard to remove right here at this corner yeah I think there's a screw right here so let's see if we can yeah yeah so uh, there's f two screws When you do the service or want to remove the, the woofer, if your woofer is damaged, so just, you can just put it here. Uh, here we go. And I don't know why Bang Olufsen has done this way, but I think it's the design way. So this is my actually the first time uh, doing a deassembling process for the Bio Play M3. It was pretty hard. I didn't know that there was, was some screws underneath, but uh, I have done so many deassembling process for the Bang Olsen products. So sometimes I knew, but uh, I didn't knew about this process. So the process is uh, remove the the front grill, remove all the uh, remove just the four screws, these four screws, and take your flat screwdriver and just, you can actually place a, a napkin or something like that, so not, you're not damaging your, your chassis, and just put it here at the middle, and, and just wipe a little bit up here, so you can Take it out right here, unscrew those two screws and take this one out. And then flip it, take a flat screwdriver, put it right here and just enough to unscrew those two screws and place it here and then you can remove the front by disconnecting this Twitter. So uh, let's see. We can uh, there's uh, two screws. If we can remove uh, those, and then we can uh, take the tweet out. I think I have the screwdriver for that. Here we go. Found the screwdriver. It was very actually very hard to remove the front grill. I didn't know there was that would be so much challenge to do that. But uh, sometimes Bang Olufsen's designer have done a pretty hard job for us to do a DSM process. Here we go. And here's the trader. I think it's also made in China. We'll put it here. And here's the chassis, damaged chassis. But sometimes we need to damage a product and try to analyze how they have manufactured and assembled this product. So let's bring 
this one up and let, let us try to disconnect the cables so we can get a better view. Go. This one is connected right here. Yep. There we go. And let's see if we can. one is going here you go and I think that's it okay let's try to see if we can uh, remove one two three four five hmm okay let's try to remove oh there's one more here Okay, there is one, two, three, four, four screws. Let's try to remove those four screws and see what we end with. Here we go, and let's try to see if we can power it out. Okay. Let's see if we can remove the power supply board. Go. There's must be the Wi-Fi antennas. Just be careful when you remove these two. And here we go. So here we have the power supply board and the main board in the same. No, okay, it's not the same. And uh, let's try to see if we can remove the power supply board. So uh, it took some time to remove the screws. Uh, the screws was uh, was hide it uh, here and was also glued. So here is the power supply board. Look like this. Right here and here is the chassis for the power supply board. And here is the main board with the antenna. Uh, let's. Also remove that. So the antenna is both for Wi-Fi and also for the Bluetooth connectivity. Here we go. It's also glued. Here we go. Here is the Wi-Fi board. Come with this one where the chip is heated. And here is the main board. And let's continue. Let's try to remove all the parts here and bring the chassis up. So we still have some parts to remove. Let's remove the antennas. The antennas also just glued. So just be careful not to break it when you remove it. Here we go, just check the timing. Here we go. First one, and let's remove the second one. Is here the good thing? Bangles integrated the two antennas, has better connectivity. And here we go. So we have two antennas, I think they're just identical. Yeah, put here, and let's continue to remove. Uh, the input boards, 
the input ports here and let's remove the four screws and yeah let's speed up the process here we go here is the line in input board I think we need to here we go strange okay let's try to remove two screws here Here we go. Okay, not a challenge. Why the heck? It is glued or let's try to figure out. No, this is also screwed in, so let's remove it. Here we go. Remove the screws, put this one back, remove, I think this also has antenna. Yeah, remove. I think this is the surface port. So uh, we are finally done for the BioPlay M3. Uh, let's try. No, we still have. Uh... This is the part of the chassis for the buttons. Let's figure out. I need to figure out. We are still not done. So uh, let's uh, remove the PCB board for the touch buttons. Here we go. Let's remove the screws. Let's see if we can take the button out. Here we go. Can we also remove the buttons? Yes. Cool. So we are finally done for the deassembling process for the BioPlay M3. I think we should line all the, up the parts and see what we have. So we are finally done for the BioPlay M3. It was pretty challenging. Uh, it took actually a lot of times and, ex and expect not to use so much time for the, this product, but it was very uh, built. It was very good build and the structure and the uh, all they have uh, they have very optimized the space for the power supply board and also the main board i think this is the amplifier board so they have actually integrated the 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 amplifier board not the power supply board into the main board with the amplifier board and with the antenna board that was very clever and so the most challenging to uh, if, uh, to remove uh, was this front chassis. I didn't know they have a, there was, there was screwed in right. I think there was a, right here. This one was screwed right here. I didn't know that. So uh, don't make the same mistake I've made. So just set your uh, screws right, right here and pull this up. And there's two screws you need to remove here. And then you can remove it and take the woofer out. 
so uh, let's begin let's talk about the products this was just plastic piece for the power supply board and we have the front cover and we have the main and power supply board look like this and we have the two input board uh, we have the line in input board and we have the uh, USB, micro USB, I think this is for the service port. And this is the antenna board, I think. I'm not sure. Maybe the LED board. The Twitter unit. Twitter. The Palace woofer, also made in China. Plastic piece, I think, for protecting the woofer. The woofers, not, not the woofers, the buttons. And the buttons is placed like this. Will be sold separately. The antenna. And not the antenna, this is the Wi Fi Bluetooth board. And this is the antennas for the Wi-Fi board, just need to place right here. Also going to be sold separately. The front chassis, this damage is not going to be sold, but I think it's going to be sold like this, but this damage, and here is the back chassis. And this is the cover, rubber cover for, for the buttons, need to be placed right here. And we have a bunch of three, four cables. So uh, this was a pretty long DSM meeting process for BioPlay M3. Thank you for watching and yeah, have a nice day. If you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. So uh, have a nice day and yeah, take care.